Welcome back, everybody. Joining us this morning, we have Jennifer Brock Pauler. She's the director up at the Ames Community Arts Council, and you're here to talk about something that I absolutely love. Yeah. These are it's uh, the Ames Artist Studio Tour. Which is pretty excited. I am. I'm so excited. I'm excited about your I'm excitement. excitement. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you for Thank joining you. us here this morning. Um, I do. I find it very inspiring to be able to go out and meet the artists and yeah. tour their spaces and see how they work and see how they uh, organize things and, uh, and work through. It's it's very exciting. So. There's one happening in Ames there is, that there we want is. to talk about. This weekend, so tomorrow, when it warms up a little bit, right? Promise? <laughs> um, we've got 14 stops on our tour. Wow. Everything from painters and potters, jewelry makers, woodwork woodworkers, uh, furniture builders, and we have a, even have a sound studio, a, a recording studio. Because the cool thing about the Arts Council is we represent the visual arts, but we sure. also we represent all folks who are doing creative things. So. Um, We've got 14 stops all throughout the city. They're pretty. There's maps at. We're going to go uh, through yep, a few yep, of these here's here. Here's a few here. Barbara's a lovely encaustic painter, which is it's wax, beeswax yeah, and melted beautiful. wax. It's so oh, really? cool. Huh. Bill Rickert is a is a fan favorite. He is a um, woodworker and he carves while you're watching. Um, has some wonderful samples for everyone to look at. He's just a lovely guy. Um, Casa is one of our. Um, what, are, what do you call it? A collective. Open a collective. There's five or six folks working there at a time. Oh, okay. So that's a cool place to start if you don't know what you want to see. Right. Start at Casa. Start there. And the cool thing about Casa this year is they have a gallery show. So you can go upstairs and look at some of the art that's on display of the folks who are participating. Okay. So you can get Very an overview. Nice. Chris Martin is new this year. He's doing um, furniture building. Beautiful. Works in, with African Art, artist Ghana, the whole thing. It's such a beautiful story there. He spent it's some like time. Like he has the exotic woods too yes, that he's yes, incorporating into yes. his pieces. He's been with Arch Cadigat Glass, also a fan favorite, especially on a cold day because he's melting glass in his yeah, studio. That's, that's and you can go and glass. Yeah, it's so cool. It's, um, and he, while you are watching, he will create a piece. So it's wow. you can watch it go. College of Design is another collective. Iowa State's getting involved this year. You can go in and talk to students about how they're becoming artists, what they're gonna do in their professional nice. world. And it's family weekend, so we're hoping that some of those families and parents will, will make their way from Design on Main to the rest of the tour. Nice. Dan Marks, another beautiful painter. He works in acrylics. And if you come to his home, you will see, well, first of all, he lives in a beautiful, beautiful home, but he also has painted a lot of the local buildings, churches from local towns. Oh, cool. okay. um, a local you know, effect. Yeah, there. so you might find your own city in his, in his studio. Erin Carpenter, a beautiful um, ceramicist. She works in porcelain, which is very different mm -hmm. than some forms of clay, and she does this int intricate carving. It's not in this example. In this example, you're seeing the gold um, but she does this intricate carving that she does freehand. So it's beautiful to watch her work. Greg Lamont is a part of CASA, so when you come to that collective, okay. he is one of the artists there. And he is just, he can tell you every story about everything he's ever done. So he's a wonderful, <laughs> yeah, I, love that. I always always end with Greg so I know I have time to stay and chat. He's, <laughs> okay, he's, that's he's good, good to know, for, that's he's good, good to for, know. Good for talking, so you know, you can make all sorts of choices. Kyle is new this year, she's in a new studio space, really excited to show it off. She does, um, um, I can't think of the words. She's going to kill me. More abstract, abstract art. So okay. beautiful things. Melissa is our jewelry. Jewel, say that three Jewel. times. Yeah. <laughs> jewelry she artist. Jewelry. <laughs> um, these beautiful, uses beautiful stones, works in gold. Wow. Pearls. So really a little bit of everything. There really, really is. And and you can talk to them at, at any, you know, about anything. They want to talk about their process. They want to talk about why they do it all those sorts of things. The other cool thing about the tour is you can see all this wonderful work. You can do all these beautiful things and it doesn't have to cost you a cent. It is free. You get in your car. You go at your own pace. As you say, it's kind of go on your own. Yes, yes. You, and that's that's kind of scary. I understand. You know, you're walking to someone's personal right. home, and you want to make sure that you're invited. But we promise, if their address is in the card, it's um, all good. It's all good, and they would love to show you what they're doing. Um, so, because such there's such I don't know, it's, I say magic, but it, that happens in those it spaces. It feels like it magic. Is, <laughs> it, does. it does, and to learn more about that, and it connects you to the work that they do. So, if right. you're a collector, it's really nice right. to have that story tied into the pieces right. that you collect. Absolutely, and I think a lot of people, you know, they don't think that 
they don't feel comfortable going into a gallery because they're not sure what to do. You know, they, you go to a gallery show, you expect a certain thing. You know, I have to wear a black dress and I have to talk in a certain way and I have to do whatever. And this, this is kind of breaking down that wall. Less Show, intimidating. Absolutely. Showing you an artist as a person. They're going to be in their jeans and their paint spattered shirts and, you know, and that's. So, and the hours. And create. Let's talk uh, about yes. that. On Friday, I'm sorry, on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Sunday, we start at noon and we go till 4 p.m. So um, I think that's about 10 hours, 12. I've done the math 100 times. Yeah. Um, and it may take both days it will to get around to all 14, I, it sounds I like. I try really hard to hit everyone during the tour and even me knowing exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing, I don't think I've ever made it all the way around the loop. Um, but that's not, that's not important. Go see the folks you want to see. Um, if you have time to see them all, it's a, it's a claim to fame. So. Yeah, so now the, a map, I'm assuming you yes. have that's available for everybody to kind of easily navigate through. Absolutely, you can find a map on our website, aimsart.org or at any one of the stops. They all have maps there okay. and brochures to pick up so you can see who's on the tour. Those brochures um, and maps are also, if you're looking for a good place to start, we have a headquarters at Morning Bell Coffee Roasters right in downtown Ames. It's a great place to pick up some caffeine, talk to some folks who know about the tour and can kind of walk you through it and then get you started. And I'm just gonna throw in, because I can, um, the Arts Council just put up a beautiful mural on the side of Morning Bell Coffee. So it's also Aww. a wonderful reason to stop, stop there, take a look. check it out, um, see a new really piece of art. And see a brand new piece of art. Is it important for the Ames Community Arts Council to help people realize all these incredible artists that are within that community It, as it well? really is. It's exciting that we can put something like this together. And I think folks are really excited to know that it's their neighbors, their friends. You know, these are people that they see at the grocery store, people they're singing with in a, in a choir, they're doing all these things. and oh wait, you do this too? Right. Um, we have some artists that are, they are full-time artists. It's what they do, you know, Art Chikati, um, that's his full-time job. But a lot of these folks are making art in the wee hours of the morning. When no, they can. Side hustle. Yeah, <laughs> side hustle. Um, but the talent is second to none, and so we're excited. So now, do you typically have this uh, studio tour every time, every year, at yes. this time? This, yes, it's every fall. Every October on a weekend where there's not a home football game, because <laughs> everyone says, Smart. Well, "Why don't you know? Why don't you do first first Friday, first whatever?" I'm like, "No, we go by football." I want to compete with the, yeah, with that. That's traffic, going on up traffic, there. traffic, exactly. traffic. Absolutely, um, but it should be a gorgeous weekend to go into people's homes mm -hmm. and see their artistic spaces. Uh, again, if people want more details on the great work you guys are doing or about uh, the studio tour this weekend, where's the best place for them to go? Best place to start is our website, aimsart.org, or else. When you get started in the morning, come to Morning Bell Coffee Roasters yeah. on Main Street. Love it. Take a look and at I the love new mural. Yeah. And then now a lot of the artists typically have other pieces for sale in there on the tour as well. Yes. So you can yes. kind of you maybe pick up a few things along the way. Yeah, I love that. Like you said, get to know your get to know your artwork. Yeah. Your fellow artists and yes. absolutely free to attend. So no, you can go out and it's celebrate. Very inspiring. And very inspiring yeah. to go on a studio. We're gonna go to tour. Michelle's studio very, very yes. soon. We're gonna add her to <laughs> the tour. <laughs> We're gonna add her to the tour. Jennifer, an absolute pleasure uh, meeting you today. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for being yes, a part of this. Thank you. Great yeah. work. Thanks for having us.